Here's my hairy armpits. I'm doing a review on something that involves my hairy armpits in probably a couple of months. So that is something to look forward to for you. <laughs> my hairy armpits. friends thanks for clicking I'm the pink veggie if you're into health fitness and looking your best please subscribe for weekly videos so natural deodorants do they work or are they a waste of money I've been testing out four different brands over the last fair few months to um, see what the conclusion is for me back 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 <laughs> back 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 in the day I did try um, a natural deodorant basically back then there was only one option and it was like a, a crystal um, thing that you wet and I rubbed it on under your arms. It looked a bit like um, I looked a bit like a, a crystal sort of um, one of these. And the, I think you still can still get them, but natural deodorants have evolved quite a bit since then. Back then, that thing did not work for me. Uh, it didn't work for me at all, and I gave up. And I've just been using traditional deodorants since then. However, recently. <laughs> On a trip to my local Woolies to get a new deodorant, um, there was a hiccup. The local youth in this town steal deodorants. It's a really big problem and all of the supermarkets in town have locked up their deodorants. They've just installed a big cabinet in the shelving where the deodorants sit. It was just a spare deodorants but um, Last time I went to buy my normal roll-on, um, all the deodorants were in there. All the spray and roll-ons were all in this big cabinet and I didn't really feel like going to get a staff member to unlock it. And the only thing available was this little tiny section of the natural deodorants up um, on the side of it that didn't get caught up in the um, deodorant jail. So I bought one and gave it a try and it didn't work. It, it didn't work at all. I'll show you. So that deodorant, so that deodorant that I tried was this one, the My Aura Organics, bergamot and lime and coconut. It smells really nice. It's like a paste in a tube where you can um, wind it up and rub it on. But unfortunately, it didn't do anything. And I did actually find the My Aura Organics one to be the least favourite with application wise. It's like a paste but it's in a stick so it's like it drags on your underarm when you're trying to apply it. It's not a smooth application. Um, I guess that's their solution for not having it in a tin and it can't be a roll on. So they sort of made it a paste but it's a very... Um, it's a solid sort of paste and I just found that I, I didn't like the way it applies. So after that I thought why not I'll give a few others a try they, they're pretty popular nowadays so they can't all be as bad as this one so I got a few more to try out. I had a look at the ingredients on this one it's basically uh, starch tapioca starch some oils some bicarb and some sense. So the other pasty sort of ones I could see on the shelves were basically the same active ingredients as this. So what I thought I'd try was this one. It is the Body Crystal Botanica and it's basically the same, um, what is it called? Potassium alum. Potassium alum was that, that crystal looking thing that I tried back in the past but it's already liquefied so you don't have to wet it and it's in a roll-on. And I was already using roll-on so I was I like the convenience of them so I thought I'd give this one a go and I wasn't expecting this one to work because it's got the same active ingredient as the one I tried in the past and it hadn't worked so I thought oh well I'll give it another try. It's got a nice um, unisex light fragrance to it. And I do find that this one works actually. Uh, so none of the natural deodorants will stop sweating. That's not what they're meant to do. Um, it did actually work to stop me from smelling through the day. I've also been trying No Pong. No Pong is an Australian-made brand. It's pretty popular. I see advertisement for it around. 
and it comes in this little tin there's a paste you just use your finger and spread it on under your arms now it did say in the instructions a pea size amount so I was thinking like for the size of that tin there's not many pea sized amounts in that tin but it has actually lasted a really long time I've been surprised about that I wasn't expecting this one to work because it does basically have the same ingredients as the other one this one so how they differ is so it's basically the same ingredients but how they differ is this one has the coconut oil as the main ingredient so that's the first ingredient and the second ingredient is the bicarb and the third ingredient is the starch so it's got more bicarb and a little less starch this one the bicarb was further down on the ingredients list so there's less bicarb so I'm not sure I'm like I'm not a chemist I'm not sure which ingredient works in what ways but I did actually find that the no pong worked for me uh, again doesn't stop sweating but it does stop the smell the only thing I don't like about the no pong is applying it um, usually I'll do my makeup and then I have to um, wash my hands from doing my makeup put this on with my finger and wash my hands again so I'm washing and washing it it just feels like I'm washing my hands too much um, so that was one thing that I don't like with this one so I have sort of been going back to this one a lot even though I've got this one there because I just like the convenience of the roll-on so I was looking into it and apparently bicarb irritates a lot of people and the um, no pong does a bicarb freak and for me I'm thinking that must be what makes the other one work because it's got more bicarb than the other one and this is the no pong bicarb free so I thought I'd give that a try I had to get this one online it's the chai spicy chai set the texture is a lot um, smoother than the traditional I don't know if you can it's a bit it's shinier and smoother than this one is a bit um, drier and pastier so I do really like this one I know it doesn't look like I've used much but I have had a fair few on the go giving them all a trial this I really do like the scent of this one the try one so this one is based on coconut oil as the first ingredient and it's got magnesium hydroxide I suppose I should have researched this for the video I don't know what magnesium hydroxide is but I guess that takes the place of the bicarb and it's also got diatomaceous earth I don't know if I'm saying that correctly I'm pretty sure I am probably not um, so I am familiar with diatomaceous earth because I've bought it in powdered form you can buy edible grade to um, take so I've actually been taking diatomaceous earth um, in capsules that I've encapsulated myself um, I haven't found that it's done a thing for me but I bought a whole big gigantic bag of it so I thought I might as well try it up um, I think I can't remember what, why I bought it. It's supposed to, it's supposed to be something you know, that's good for you. So it's got diatomaceous earth in it as well, which is like, um, like an edible clay. So, so the thing with the Nopong range is they're not tested on animals, but they do have beeswax, so they're not vegan. Um, this one, which I did not like, does not have beeswax, and it does say vegan friendly. So if you are a vegan, you might want to give this one a try. Didn't work for me, but it might work for you. That's all. So then after trying the Nopong range, obviously with my Google search history at the time and the Facebook algorithms, they thought they would show me this ad for Axilla Black Chicken Natural Deodorants. There was a special on for, I think it was free delivery and in this cute little package I got these two cute little trial size pots. They're tiny teeny. So in these, I got the original and the sensitive. It doesn't have the ingredients on here, but in scent wise, I can't really place it. It smells a bit like a hippie shop. It's definitely the strongest of all the ones that I've tried. If you don't like strong scents, I wouldn't try this one. It is, yeah, it just, it smells a bit like a hippie shop, which is, it's not bad, but some people might not like it because it is a bit of a stronger scent. I haven't even tried this one this is the sensitive one from the axilla so the axilla sensitive is based on coconut oil magnesium hydroxide again like the nopong tapioca starch and diatomaceous earth so 
So it seems to have a similar sort of ingredient list and makeup as the No Pong um, sensitive as well. This one has a little ingredients label and it does say it's got mandarin, grapefruit, ylang ylang and geranium in there which are all quite strong scents but the scent of this one is very very mild. But the best thing I found about the Xilla website is they have these little application tools. You don't have to keep on watching your finger. You can scoop it up like that and put it on like that. Excuse my hairy armpits. I'm doing a review on something that involves my hairy armpits in probably a couple of months. So that is something to look forward to for you. <laughs> my hairy armpits. There was a there was the sale for this one. I'm pretty sure it was free postage and a pretty good deal on the two little sample pots and this. So I think altogether I got all this for like it was under ten dollars with postage. I think this was for like three three dollars fifty. And it's so good. I've been using it all the time. I definitely recommend one of these. Even if you want to use a no pong you go to the Axilla Black Chicken website and get one of these. So in review, I've been trying a lot. This is my Aura one. It's a really nice scent. Not sure why, but it didn't work for me. Still got smelly. Very, very smelly. Not a good thing. It was expensive, so that's very sad. I'll waste money with that. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. This it's based on the crystals I used to use back in the day. Well, I tried to use back in the day and they didn't work. It does work for me now. I don't know if it's because it's more already liquefied in there and you get more of the active ingredient. Um, that's all I can think because it is the same thing but just liquefied already and in a roller. I have been gravitating towards this mostly because of the convenience. I used to always use roll-on so I guess that's what I'm used to. And um, it has been working scent-wise. I don't get smelly with this one. So I've been gravitating towards this one. But I do like these as well. If you're used to your normal traditional sprays or roll-ons, the paste it might um, take a little bit to get used to, but I definitely think it's worth it if you give it a go. Um, definitely doesn't stop sweat. It's not supposed to stop sweat. I still get sweaty, which I don't like, but I do think it's worth it to swap over to a natural deodorant to suffer that little bit of sweat. I have an office job, so it doesn't really worry me definitely try one of these if you find that you try one and it doesn't work try another one because that's what I found the first one I tried well technically the first two I tried the one back in the day and the my aura one they both didn't work but these do actually work for me so that's my review um, they basically have the same active ingredients I'm not sure why some work and some don't even though you don't think the little pasty things are gonna last long they do go a surprisingly long way so I will be using up my deodorants for a fairly long time. I won't need to buy deodorant for a long time. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. If you liked it, do give it a like, subscribe, maybe leave a comment of natural deodorants that you've used, ones that don't work, do work, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>